Hi guys, this is homework help for momentum puzzles, which deals with uh, conservation of momentum. So quick review before we start, elastic collisions occur when the two objects start apart and end apart. And so we see that in the equation where the two momenta are uh, listed separately, you have P1i and P2i, and the final momenta are also listed separately. Second type of interaction is called inelastic collision, and that happens when they start apart but end together. So we see that in the equation where P1i and P2i are listed separately, but the final momentum is just PF. The two objects start apart, they collide, and then they travel together. The last interaction is called an explosion. In an explosion, they start together and then end apart. And so, um, in the equation, we see that reflected with a single initial momentum, but two different final momenta. Okay, so in this homework, we're going to be given a scenario. We're going to have to evaluate it first for what type of interaction it is. And then we're going to try to solve the puzzle and, and fill in the blanks. Okay, so stationary bomb explodes. And we see in the picture, we've got a bomb and the before column here that starts together and then uh, is separate afterwards. So if we look at our interactions, that's going to make sense to call this an explosion, where we start together and end apart. Um, it tells you that the initial momentum is zero. And since we know from our equation that initial and final momentum have to equal, then we can go ahead and fill in a zero here for final momentum. So in order to make that true, if we know that the initial momentum of the first piece is negative 10, and I'm getting that from here, then in order for the total to be zero, the final must be positive 10 for part two. So we've got part one going to the left, we've got part two going to the right. If you add those together, P1F plus P2F, they will equal zero. Okay, <clears throat> so that's the first one. Second one um, tells us that the um, blob of clay collides with a stationary blob of, blob of clay. So we see that we have two objects that are separate. Then we've got the collision, and then they're together at the end. So um, if we go back and look at our equations, the one where we had separate, at the beginning and together at the end is the inelastic. Okay. Um, so we know that the PI or initial momentum is going to be P1I plus P2I. The tell us P1 is moving to the right at 10 meters per second. P2 is not moving at all, so if we add 10 plus 0, we get a positive 10 for our total initial momentum. And then we know, based on the law of conservation of momentum, that the final total momentum must equal that. And so our PF has to also be positive 10 kilogram meters per second. I hope that helps. Throughout all of them, if you'll start first by figuring out what kind of interaction, and then go back and look at the formulas and think what it would be true about the initial momentum and what has to be true about the final momentum. That should help. But as always, reach out if you've got questions.